If we are to have another contest in the near future of our national existence, I predict that the dividing line will not be Mason and Dixon's but between patriotism and intelligence on the one side, and superstition, ambition and ignorance on the other. The most confident critics are generally those who know the least about the matter criticized. Cheap cigars come in handy, they stifle the odor of cheap politicians. Nations, like individuals, are punished for their transgressions. Anything is better than indecision. We must decide. If I am wrong, we shall soon find out and can do the other thing. But not to decide wastes both time and money and may ruin everything. Let us labor for the security of free thought, free speech, pure morals, unfettered religious sentiments, and equal rights and privileges for all men, irrespective of nationality, color, or religion. Leave the matter of religious teaching to the family altar, the church, and the private school, supported entirely by private contribution. Keep church and state forever separate. As soon as slavery fired upon the flag it was felt, we all felt, even those who did not object to slaves, that slavery must be destroyed. We felt that it was a stain to the Union that men should be bought and sold like cattle. The will of the people is the best law. Two commanders on the same field are always one too many. In every battle, there comes a time when both sides consider themselves beaten, then he who continues the attack wins. The art of war is simple enough. Find out where your enemy is. Get at him as soon as you can. Strike him as hard as you can, and keep moving on. Wars produce many stories of fiction, some of which are told until they are believed to be true. I have never advocated war except as means of peace, so seek peace, but prepare for war. Because war. War never changes. War is like winter, and winter is coming. The friend in my adversity I shall always cherish most. I can better trust those who help to relieve the gloom of my dark hours than those who are so ready to enjoy with me the sunshine of my prosperity. The fact is I think I am a verb instead of a personal pronoun. A verb is anything that signifies to be, to do, or to suffer. I signify all three. God gave us Lincoln and Liberty, let us fight for both. Hold fast to the Bible as the sheet anchor of your liberties, write its precepts in your hearts, and practice them in your lives. <laughs>